Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly, the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, we're going to start off with the oracle messages here. And once we get that out of the way, we will jump into your tarot reading, Aquarius. Sorry if you guys see like really smoky. I've been saging. Um, we've been doing these videos for all the signs. So anyways, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, definitely hit that subscribe button so you can um, know when videos are going up as well as hit the notification bell so you can get updates as soon as these videos go up. We have tons of new videos come for you guys. All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading Aquarius. Let's see what spirit has. Now your first card here is fifth chakra Archangel Gabriel. Your second card here is door to personal healing and happiness and caring connection. Wow. Okay. So there is a lot of, and, and I don't necessarily read the bottom decks unless I see it. Um, actually my eyes went to this card. So I feel that for some of you guys, there's a lot of healing that's happening Aquarius. Uh, this could be directly connected to those in your family dynamic. This could be with relatives, friends, um, loved ones, uh, brother, sisters, father, mother type of energy. Um, and again, I feel that there's a connection here in regards to what your, you know, what your family dynamic is. There is some healing that's happening. For some of you guys, you may experience, uh, experience in the sense of feeling like um, a few disagreements or not being able to be on the same page, perhaps feeling like even getting to the point of feeling like you're being attacked by someone in your family or a friend, someone that is near or close to you. I feel that what they're telling you here is don't let if you find yourself by the um, coming weeks feeling like you're being put in a position where you have to take sides or where you have to react you feel the need to react to some type of personal attack is what i'm hearing um this could be in regards to your character this could be uh, perhaps maybe a conversation where you feel like they are judging you uh they're judging your past or they're judging um, it could be as simplistic as them having a disagreement, perhaps, of the way you uh, take care or look after your kids, that type of energy, because of feeling like you're very upset here uh, with hostility. And what they're saying here is if you feel that you're being put in that position, walk away from that situation, Aquarius. Uh, do not bite into it. Do not try to, um, don't try to express or allow, don't try to sit there and argue just so that they can see your point of view because i feel that they may be blocked they may be the ones that have a lot of healing that needs to happen so just take it for what it is take it in stride and again if you feel that they're like literally pushing you to the limit walk away from that situation do not allow yourself to get out of character now the door to personal healing and happiness i feel that a lot of you guys are really if you can see in this card it's almost like you're looking from within, you're looking out. Uh, this could be looking towards your future. This could be you making plans for the future. This could be um, putting your desires and your intentions out there to what it is, what you would consider happiness. When you visualize or when you see yourself, you know, getting home from work, going into your home, what is the atmosphere? What does it feel like? Who are you coming home to? That type of energy is what I'm sensing here. And again, it could be that uh, currently we are looking to the past, not to dwell in that energy, but to see how far we've come, to see how far we have um, we have set out on this journey of what we call life and where you're at right now at this point in time. Are you happy? Are you chasing your dreams? Are you chasing your aspirations? Or are you being closed off and secluded to what is comfortable for you? Are you just going from, you know, from work to your house, from the house to work? Have you secluded yourself? Have you, um, you know, not really thought about the future or where you want to go? It, it's almost like, is it a routine? Has it become a routine in your life, your everyday life? And if that's the case, it's time for you to um, really put energy towards what you're wanting to bring to you. It's very important, Aquarius. Remember, you have the conjunction here uh, in your sign. So for the next coming three years, it's going to be all about um, stability. It's going to be all about finding 
your purpose and chasing or going after your purpose or creating the life that you want. So it's all about setting intentions and setting flight. No longer having the need to take a backseat. It's necessary for you to take action. If what you want to draw in is financial stability, what are the steps that you're doing um, that are taking you closer to achieving your goal? When it comes to relationship, are you closed off? Are you expecting the person to show up out of nowhere and to come and knock at your door? Because as you can see here, you're indoors looking out. So again, is it is it something that you are comfortable where you're at right now? And if the answer to that is yes, I'm comfortable, maybe not 100% happy, but I'm comfortable because it feels safe to me. What they're telling you is it's time for you to get out of the routine. It's time for you to take new steps or to see things from a very different perspective there is a necessity for you to take some type of action and to get out of your comfort zone uh you also have caring connections for those of you guys that are single i do see love around you and, and there's an opportunity that may come up uh even before february 14th this is the 14th card um and i feel that for some of you guys it could be january 14th uh, but for others, I feel that it's it's more of a of a it's more of a near future. So it could speak about within a couple of weeks to a month. Um, but the 14 could be the start. It could be a jump start of a new beginning, a new connection, a new relationship for some of you guys. All right, let's get into your tarot reading. Let's see what spirit has. Now we're going to be pulling out your partner's card, or the person that's coming towards you. We have the strength card, may be dealing with the Leo energy. We have the justice card, may be dealing with Libra. Wow, two major arcanas. And we have the eight of cups. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is how the person or the person that you're dealing is seeing the situation with the strength card. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation or a person for quite a while and they feel like they've put a lot of effort into this connection or like they've really... Um, have been patient with you here aquarius now with the justice card this is the balancing of scales but this can also represent making a decision to walk away with the eight of cups here so there could have been a situation um you could have been dealing with someone from the past that you're no longer in contact or no longer communicating with now the cards that represent you as well the tower page of cups yeah and the nine of points okay so for those of you guys that are single, love is definitely coming towards you. The tower next to the page of cups, this is a transformative type of energy. Whenever we have major arcanas, this is speaking about no longer dealing with the everyday routine, but um, minors are always the everyday. Major arcanas are signifying astrologically the planet alliance. It is speaking about destiny. It is speaking about higher self and higher purpose. So again, with strength card, the justice, there was a decision that was made in the past. Perhaps uh, the person was the one that walked away from you. Perhaps you were still dealing from the oral cards. You were still healing uh, through that type of energy. Now, moving forward, you have the tower card and the page of cups. So this is major transformative uh, energy in regards to love and romance. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a uh Earth element, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others, could be water, energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, the tower is something transformative. This is no longer living, no longer living a certain way uh, because it shakes us up. It, it brings to us major transformation. Once that transformation happens, our life can never be the same. With the Page of Cups, there is love coming toward you. There's a love often here that's coming through. The nine of points could represent you being very self-sufficient, independent, getting to the point of, uh, again, and this is something that's been ongoing for you Aquarians in the past readings, where they speak about getting to the point of being so self-sufficient that you continuously keep telling yourself if a relationship doesn't work out, then that means that I don't need it. I don't need a relationship to make myself whole. And that is 100% honest truth, and that is 100% positive. But... If what you want is a long-term commit relationship or something that is stable, some a monogamous relationship, the energy of when things are not working out, you're quick to say, I don't need this or I don't need a relationship to make myself happy. You're sending two different mixed signals. You're telling the universe, yes, I want happiness, 
but at the same time, I don't need it. So that's exactly what's coming in. People that are perhaps not consistent, people that perhaps are confused, people that may already be taken um, and are coming towards you. Why? Because you're sending those who make signals. So it's about aligning yourself, Aquarius. Get to the point of understanding, okay, maybe, you know, I've been single for quite a while with the nine of points. It's been a long time. It's been a long process. And I'm ready for love. I'm ready to receive love. I'm ready to give love. And I'm ready to receive. Like I said, the tower is transformed to energy. It's a new beginning. It's no longer seeing or living the way you have up until now. So major transformative energy here. Now, the Five of Cups and the Knight of Cups. This could represent um, the partner, the person that you were dealing with in the past or that you may be dealing with right now is expecting or wanting some positive outcome in this connection. Uh, for those of you guys that are no longer dealing with this person, it could signify that this person is trying to come back around, trying to contact you with the Knight of Cups, uh, trying to communicate in a loving way or trying to see if you would still give them an opportunity here. But with the tower, more than likely, if you're dealing with people from the past, what they're telling you is it's time for you to break free. It's time for you to start a new life or start with new people. No longer entertaining the past. No longer dealing with past energies. Um, now, your other card here is the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So, Eight of Wands is quick movement, communication, but also coming to the understanding with the Page of Cups that there is other people that are interested in you or new people that are coming towards you. The Ten of Swords is the ending cycle of feeling restricted or feeling like there hasn't been movement in your love life or there hasn't been progress. So again, Eight of Wands is quite the opposite of the Ten of Swords, but Ten of Swords, the positive there is that this is an ending cycle. It's a new beginning for you. Um, again, you know, the conjunction is in your sign, Aquarius, so it's going to be very transformative energy. And when we deal with that type of conjunction, we're definitely seeing the tower. Why? Because our perception of what life has been up until now is going to be completely transformed. It's going to be completely changed. People that we were dealing with in the past that have not been consistent or that have <clears throat> some type of instability, you're no longer entertaining because we have Saturn there and Jupiter. Jupiter wants to give you the blessings. Jupiter wants to bring you happiness. But Saturn being there, it's about being mindful, taking self-responsibility. Are you entertaining people that are taken and hoping or wishing that they will choose you? Or are you choosing people that are emotionally unavailable and you feel like you're going to be able to love them enough to have them want you? It's no longer doing those patterns, but loving yourself and knowing your worth and saying with the tower here, there's transformative energy. Whatever it is that you have thought about when it comes to relationships up until now will change in the next coming months. Um... The tower is something major. This is like, if you don't learn the lessons that life has brought to you, then the universe or spirit steps in and brings you the tower. It's like Aquarius, you keep doing the same mistakes. I'm going to step in now and I'm going to completely break down the core of what you have built in regards to the idea of love to have a transformation, to have a different perspective so that you can start building on a solid foundation. Okay. All right, lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. And I'll see each other. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Take care. Bye.